Hello again from my front porch. Well, uh, it is a couple days after Christmas now, December 27th, and it got cold here. <laughs> Seriously, it got very, very, very cold. <laughs> and, and we were spoiled, honestly. We, we, got, we got teased a little bit because even in the, like, the week leading up to Christmas, we were in temperatures of the 40s and 50s, you know, and almost pushing 60 one day. <laughs> and so, so we were a little spoiled because that's not normal. That's not the way it should be uh, in the days after Christmas. But then uh, a day or so before Christmas, we got snow arrived. And that that just uh, you know was like oh look it's gonna be a white Christmas after all and it, it got so cold that the snow has most definitely stayed. In fact, um, well I scooped it off outside, but here let me let me see if I can take a, take you outside and show you what it looks like uh, with the snow right now outside. So see, it's not a lot of snow, but it's a little bit of snow. So it's enough snow that, well, it looks white for Christmas purposes, um, and just enough that it made the roads a little bit slick, but not too terribly bad. All right, let's, let me see if I can put you guys back down where you belong. There, okay, so, so anyway, yeah, so we, we got a little bit of snow for Christmas, so that was good, uh, but it's really cold out here, so I'm wearing my, wearing my dad's sweater, see? I have my dad's sweater, and I got my Doctor Who scarf on, keep me warm, and of course, Santa hat. Um, but anyway, my, my uh, youngest brother, Zine, and his girlfriend, Jessica, are, are in the house. Uh, they uh, came up from Oklahoma last night. Uh, yesterday, drove up all, all the way uh, through the long part of Missouri. <laughs> long part of Missouri. Uh, and, but they got here last night, and then they, they're crashing in my guest room upstairs. Uh, and so that, that's, that, it's nice having them around. We, we sat and chatted for a, a, a little while last night uh, and then decided we all needed to get to bed. Uh, so, yeah, he's so, they're, they're up there and I, I'm gonna, I gotta get prattling off to work here, uh, so I'm gonna say goodbye to them, but they will be back on Sunday because I'm hosting the, my family's holiday gathering, basically. It's a, gonna also be a slash New Year's Eve party, so that'll be a, a good time, uh, having uh, all of the siblings together again in one place uh, and uh, be able to enjoy that fun. Uh, Brandy, of course, will be here as well, helping me co-host that. I learned after we survived our Christmas day hosting for her immediate family with her boys and, and Rhiannon um, that, uh, yeah, I, I, I figured out why I have not hosted those events on my own. It's a lot of work. <laughs> And Brandy did an absolutely fantastic job. It was just amazing. I, um, and then uh, yesterday she said, because she went back home with her with her boys, and yesterday she, she was texting me that she was just so exhausted. She was so worn out. She was just taking a down day because she didn't have to go back to work right away. It's like, you earned it. <laughs> go ahead and take it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> Speaking of Rhiannon, now, now, now she, uh, Brady has four boys, and then she also has Rhiannon. Rhiannon, she considers a daughter. It's one of those situations how, you know, when we're all growing up, you, you sort of have that second family, you know, the second parents, you know, the, your, your friend's parents. Or the, you know, the, and so Rhiannon and, and Brandy were kind of that way. Rhiannon was a, a girl in the neighborhood that, that, that hung out almost more Brandy's than she did at her own home. And, and that bond has continued on through today to the point that, that Brandy really just considers Rhiannon one of her daughters. And in fact, Rhiannon has two kids and her two kids call Brandy Granny B. They, they, they consider Brandy to be their grandmother. Uh, and so, so that, that, that bond, that connection has remained there. But I've got this, I've got this white bracelet thingy on that is actually, this is, this is uh, for Rhiannon uh, because Rhiannon is battling lung cancer. And this this uh, bracelet, they, they sell these it's a fundraiser to help pay for their expenses and stuff. It says Rhiannon Strong, one breath at a time. Um, and so there's still there's still some of these available. If you are interested in getting a Rhiannon bracelet to help them with their expenses, let me know. Uh, drop me an inbox or post a comment on the video, and we will make sure that you're able to get your your Rhiannon Strong um, wrist, wristband bracelet thingy. Um, so, so that you can do that. So anyway, uh, we, we had a, a really great Christmas with all of, with all of them, uh, with, with Brandy's family. And I'm looking forward to on coming up on s this Saturday, we're actually going to go to Brandy's parents for the bigger family Christmas for her and her siblings. Uh, that'll be at her parents' place. And then on Sunday, my siblings all come to my place <laughs> and we'll do Christmas here, uh, Christmas, New Year's, you know, that kind of thing. But even before we get to that, Friday night, 
uh, Brandy and I and, and her two youngest sons are going to go to the Iowa Cu uh, the Iowa Cubs. <laughs> To the Iowa, the Iowa Cubs would be a little cold <laughs> in their outdoor baseball stadium. <laughs> We're going to be going to the Iowa Wolves on Friday night to um, uh, uh, I watch the game. Obviously, I got, I've got some, some great tickets from Waldinger, my company. And uh, also, after I'd already arranged that and, and had the tickets from Waldinger, the Iowa Wolves contacted me and said, Hey, any chance you'd be available to sing the national anthem for us on Friday night? And I was like, yeah, I'm already going to be there anyway. <laughs> so, so I'll be getting to sing the national anthem too. So that that'll be good. Now, in the midst of all of this, I am still working on my book too. <laughs> and so, trying to fig trying to get time in to do editing around you know holidays and the hosting of you know, siblings and you know singing national anthem and you know all this kind of stuff and and uh, it's that's it's it's. A little stressful. Uh, stressful enough just doing the edits. It's even more stressful trying to find the time to get all this stuff done. Uh, there's, you know, people say, well, there's only so many hours in a day. Yep, yep, that's true. Unfortunately, um, there's also more than enough opportunities to fill those hours. So I gotta be trying to figure out how to make it all work together. Uh, oh, and then tonight, finally, finally, oh, I got a little flying plane flying over. It sounds like, um, but uh, finally tonight, my car finally goes into the shop. I know you're saying, Paul. It's been like three or four weeks, four weeks probably since we since you mentioned you were having car problem. Yes, yes, it has indeed been. See, my problem is, I don't take it to a, just a regular shop. I've got a guy who lives literally a block away from me. That he's got his own shop, a whole big shop thing built in, in, in at his property. I mean, with the the lifts and the whole the whole nine yards, because he's actually um, um, does mechanic stuff for a dealership in real life. But uh, on his spare time, he also then works on stuff just on on the side on his own. And I find him to do good quality work, and he's much less expensive. And so um, I've been trying to get in there. The problem is he's had other projects in there. And so the other projects had to get done and out of the way before he could make room for my car. Well, tonight, my car finally will be making it over to his shop. Uh, we've got that confirmation going. So, so here's hoping that they that they get it in there and they discover it's really just you know fix the alternator and it's good to go. Um, because if it's really seriously much more than that, I'm gonna probably have to consider is it time to just say sign out of the car and try to go find something else. Um, but uh, I have a rare, a very good friend. Uh, I, I don't think she's wanting me to call her out uh, by name and give her lots of attention for it. But, but just suffice to say, I know who she is. I have a very good friend who actually loaned me a vehicle to to be driving during this time, so that I'm not having to to pay Ubers and and try to beg and borrow from from rides from people. I'm actually I've actually been able to drive around. Now I haven't abused that. I've been trying to just back and forth to work and drive as minimally as possible because, you know, again, it's not my vehicle. I'm trying to be very respectful of that, but I am so very thankful that that uh, that she was able to, to loan me this uh, extra vehicle she had because, yeah, I, I, as long as this is dragged on, I have no idea what I would have done. So, so I'm, 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 I'm very, very thankful to her for, for doing that for me. Anyway, I have to get going. I have to get, I have to go into work back to, uh, yeah, I, 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 I think I heard some stirring. They might be up and around, but I'm not going to ask them, do you want to come get on video? Because <laughs> I'm sure they're not in any condition <laughs> to be on camera, but we'll catch them uh, hopefully on New Year's Day. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do quite a bit of, of uh, front porch video stuff with, with my family on New Year's Day. They all seem to be enjoying it now, so, so that'll be fun. Anyway, Happy holidays. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Hope you're looking forward to a wonderful new year. I don't know that I will visit with you again before the, the, the new year time frame because again, I'm trying to focus on the book stuff, uh, get that done. Um, but uh, so just in case we don't, in case you and I don't chat again, have a very happy new year and drive safe during this holiday time. Sometimes people get a little stupid. <laughs> I am so disappointed in myself. I just filmed that episode and I forgot it's a December video still. Sure, Christmas may be done, but it's still a December video. And what did I say I was going to do in every December video? Sing a song, a Christmas song. And I completely forgot to do that. So here I am sitting in my vehicle outside my work and I'm going to tack it on here now so that I can slip it in to the end of the video here. And again, my deepest apologies for the oversight. So here you go. You ready? Another of my personal favorite Christmas songs is the song, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> 
God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. All right. Phew. Glad I got that in. Oh, man. I'm so forgetful. Must be getting along in years, you know. This, this, this is the first time I've celebrated Christmas as a 50-year-old, so, you know. <laughs> Although, you know, I also, while I've, while I've got this moment to, to just tack something on here, I should also mention that yesterday was my dad's birthday. The day after Christmas is my dad's birthday. 78 years old. That's, that's right. He's, he's, he's getting along there. Two more years and he'll hit the big 8-0. That'll be, that'll be a big, big deal, big doing. So, so uh, looking looking forward to that. But so he he just had his birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, Dad! Uh, thank thank you for everything you've done for all of us. And um, uh, that was that was fantastic. And tonight I was supposed to be going to go see Doctor Who in the theaters, but the tickets were all sold out because that's right. There are that many people who enjoy watching Doctor Who. It's not just me and Brandy. <laughs> but even if it was just me and Brandy, that would be enough. <laughs> uh, but re really, though, uh, there are plenty of other. I have other, many other friends who are also as much into Doctor Who as we are. And so uh, we are going to get together and we're going to have a Doctor Who viewing party. Just not tonight. <laughs> Because I'm still working on the book. That's my priority right now. And I have to get back in to go to work now because they still pay me and expect me to actually do some work for them. Imagine that. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Now I've got this tacked on and I can feel so much better. I am so ashamed I forgot uh, two days after Christmas and I already forgot that I need to do a Christmas song. <laughs> All right, that's it. Now I will see you next time from my front porch.